Okay, if you haven't watched the first two videos on my channel, what is in my bag? And I bought a, a complete set of clubs for five dollars from a yard sale. If y'all haven't watched some videos, the links will be in the end of the video to click on them. But we're gonna start off this video with why I swap drivers. So this is my original club. It's a Cleveland. Got it upside down on it. No, I don't. Um, it's a Cleveland high bore. It's a beautiful club. I love the end, the finish on it. It's like this solid black. Um, the only problem is you can see right there at the bottom of the club, 11 and a half degrees. That is the only issue with this club is it's 11 and a half degrees. This club is actually given me by, by my grandpa. I've used this club for since I started playing, so it's been six months now. Um, I was able to get 220 yards about out of it every time I swung. I just skyrocketed it in the sky. It went way too high. The ball flight was just crazy high. I mean, it just didn't cut anything. Like it was not, it was not for performance. I'll tell you that. But two weeks ago, I switched over to a nine degree underrated driver, the Callaway Rogue. Here it is, right there. Callaway Rogue Sub Zero model. Beautiful finish. You can see it in the sunlight right there black and it fades to a carbon fiber it is a beautiful club now the high the cleveland high board is actually a regular shaft i switched to a stiff shaft because i felt like my swing speed is actually gained up and out the regular shaft was just a little bit behind where my hands were when i was swinging so um i'm gonna give you all a few rips with these in a second but let's talk about yardage real quick so i said i would hit this one about 220 yards skyrocketing there but then i bought the callaway rogue and I switched over, when I switched over, I started averaging around 260 yards of carry, 260, 270 yards of carry. And on the roll, I would average about 280, 290 yards in total for that drive. And I'm still getting better with it. Like I said, I've had this club for about two weeks. I'm only swung, I've only swung with it about like 50 times, like probably less than that, probably around 40. But um, I really love this club. If y'all want a decent club that's cheap, I picked this up at a, a, dis, a golf discount store for an $180. Um, extremely good club. If y'all want one like this, go pick it up. Really good club. I suggest it. But um, I don't give these two a rip. Show y'all the difference. Um, y'all probably ain't maybe see the ball flight, but I'll kind of tell y'all where it goes, how you, how far it probably went. So uh, let's give it a rip. We're going to start off with the uh, Cleveland high bore. So first hit with the Cleveland high bore. Here it goes. I absolutely smashed. Like I said, it was high. Just a little bit to the right. It wasn't too bad. I mean, I hit it dead center of the club. The the mark is right here. Um, it's a little high. But let's give one more one more rip. That was a beautiful ball. I mean, you can't get no more pretty than that. Both of them, the first one um, probably went around 200, 210 yards. And that second one might have went 220, 230. Um, like I said, I don't know if y'all can see on the camera, um, but that ball flight, I mean, it probably doubled the height of that tree out there in that field. I mean, it was crazy high. But. Another thing y'all can probably hear in the video is the sound of this club. This sound is uh, very ringy. It's very high pitched. Um, now you'll notice a whole different tone when it comes to the Calais Rogue Driver. That's the one thing I love about it. That's one thing I think y'all will love about it if y'all get the Calais Rogue is the sound. Um, so let's get a couple ricks with that and I'll see y'all in a second. That was a beautiful hit. Now I didn't hit that one as soon as I've been hitting them lately. Um, that thing probably had around 200, 230 yards of carry distance. And uh, it probably rolled on to 240. But um, straight ball flight, I mean, pretty as can be. 
I told y'all to listen for the sound, and y'all hear the difference. Highboard is so pingy. So pingy. That thing is, I mean, extremely loud. But this thing sounds like a wood almost. It is so quiet. I mean, it is two different, two different things. So uh, let's give another rip with it. All right, last ball of the day. Let's get it. Um, I hit it a little, uh, off the bottom of the club. I mean, it had the distance. It just, uh, had a little fade to it, but it wasn't terrible. I mean, it was on a real golf course to be playable, but, um, so yeah, that's the Callaway Rogue Driver. As y'all seen in the video, that is exactly why I switched clubs. The sound of this one is so high. The sound of this one is like perfect. I mean, it's, you can't get no more perfect. The ball flight of the Cleveland is way too high. It makes me lose yardage. The nine degree club for the Cali Rogue is uh, so much lower. It makes uh, the ball skip a little more and it hits the ground, gets more yardage on on a drive. So um, yeah, that's exactly the reasons I switched my drivers. And uh, I suggested if y'all want a good golf club for a driver, get the Cali Rogue. It's a grip. It's a good. It's a really good club, and I really suggest it. Thank y'all for watching. Like I said. The links are going to be somewhere on the screen here for the first two videos I posted. So y'all go watch those and like them up and subscribe. I'll see y'all guys later. Peace out.